Signs. My name is Jared. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share this with anyone that would like to know these things. All right, so I have six new entries on my die-offs spreadsheet. This is where I track things like fish kills and uh, strandings, just large die-offs of animals. And uh, pretty much all I have so far uh, is just marine life. Um, I do have one here that's birds, but they are um, like a marine kind of uh, bird that lives in, uh, you know, ocean areas, <coughs> sea and ocean. So six, and uh, they're all recent. Uh, all of them are recent except for this one right here. Uh, I have this highlighted in red, just like I do on the other tabs when it's a record-breaking event. So let me just go into it, and then I'll show you what I found. So most recently, uh, this is CNN, 32 whales rescued after 200 die in mass stranding in Australia. All right. Uh, rescue teams have managed to save 32 pilot whales, okay, uh, following a mass stranding this week in a remote part of Australia uh, that saw the deaths of around 200 whales. That is a lot. Here you see rescue efforts. Okay. Cause is still unknown. Uh, cases of whale strandings have baffled marine scientists for decades. This is the second mass stranding to have taken place in Tasmania this week after more than a dozen sperm whales, mostly young males, and believed to be part of the same bachelor pod, were found dead on another beach. So two, there's, these, there's two strandings, and I have them on here. I'll, I'll look at the details here in just a minute. Let's look up, just in case you're not familiar where Tama Tasmania is, Tasmania is part of Australia, and it's a little island right here, just off the southeastern tip of Australia. So this is where it took place, okay? Tasmania. Um, also, <coughs> so it says the largest strand, strand, sorry, the largest stranding took place in 2020 when some more than 450 pilot whales were found. Uh, quote. What caused the whale stranding is unknown, and it may not be able to be determined, said the Department of Natural Resources and the Environment on Thursday. Their experts are currently, quote, undertaking post-mortem investigations uh, into the latest stranding. So I, I don't really have any guesses, but, um, you know, that's why I'm just trying to take note of all this and just uh, see if we can figure anything out. Probably not, but... Under this column here, column I, I'm keeping track of the different causes because some of the some of the time we know sometimes it's sometimes it's pollution, sometimes it's algae, sometimes it's lack of oxygen, sometimes it's disease. But there are are also a bunch of like unknowns, and then I have a few here that are just like miscellaneous categories, which I don't know how to put it here on the chart yet, but I will at some point. So <clears throat> two separate events of whales in Australia. Let me zoom in. So we got this one right here, 200 pilot whales, and then more than a dozen sperm whales on the other beach, both in Tasmania, okay? And uh, within, a, within a week of each other. So I, I, I'm no scientist, but I would assume that whatever caused one probably caused the other to happen, even though they're different species, but I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Now let's take a quick look at this one that happened back in 2020. Interestingly, it happened around the same time because in 2020 it was on September 23rd. And these two, this year, uh, this story, I'm going by like the story date unless there's like a specific date that they put in the story. But uh, <clears throat> we had this one just yesterday. Today is the 23rd. This is the, the one, or wait, the two year anniversary of this event. That was the largest for uh, Tasmania, okay? So one year later, almost exactly to the day, we have this happening again. So is there some kind of seasonal thing happening? Because it's interesting that the one back in 2020 was also in Tasmania. Um, <clears throat> is there something happening on an annual basis in Tasmania that's making this happen? Or is it just coincidence? I'm not a big fan of uh, viewing things as coincidence because I don't really believe so much in coincidence, but I don't know. I don't know. But let's read about that one 
back in 2020 because there's a couple interesting interesting things about it this is in the guardian 380 whales dead in worst mass stranding in australia's history okay about 380 pilot whales were confirmed dead in tasmania's west on wednesday afternoon when rescuers Rescuers fighting to save the remaining 30 that are still alive. More than 450 long-finned pilot whales were caught on sandbanks and beaches inside uh, Macari Harbor with a rescue effort starting on Tuesday morning. Some 50 whales have been rescued and coaxed back to the ocean. Now, a couple other things that were interesting. So, <coughs> Carolyn said, quote, there's nothing to indicate that this stranding is human caused. This is a natural event and we know strandings have occurred before and we know and we know that from the fossil record. As far as being able to prevent this occurring, there's little we can do. Uh, yeah, because it seems like they don't they don't know what's happening or or if they do know, then they're hiding it. Um, Dr. Karen Stockin, an associate professor at Massey University in New Zealand, is an expert on whale and dolphin strandings globally, and is on an International Whaling Commission expert panel on the issue. She said the Mockery Harbor stranding was likely Australia's largest ever. Quote, it's fair to say this will probably rank third or fourth globally in terms of the numbers of stranded animals. So this was within like, this was within the top five, most likely. Um, I'll have to see if I can narrow that down and see what the outcome was, or if I can find like a list of like the top strandings. But okay, long fin pilot whales, which can live for up to 40 years, were notorious for large strandings. Stocking Stocking says uh, said because of the way that they stick together in tight social structures. Uh, quote: Some will remain within their pods their entire lifetime. She said. So anyway, right here, what we're looking at is most likely the third or fourth largest stranding uh, globally, according to, according to her. 380 whales, pilot whales. <clears throat> okay, let's look at a few of these other ones here. Uh, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, North Georgia farm find $85,000 for wastewater spill fish kill. Uh, I'm still tracking these because I, I think we would do well to just track every event. You know, you never know if it'll be useful later on or if we can learn something from it. Um, a farm in Wilkes County, southeast of Athens, was fined $85,000 this month by Georgia Environmental Protection Division for a leak that polluted state waters with ammonia, which killed an estimated 1,700 fish. A pond on the property of McC uh, McAvoy Farms, McAvoy Farms, I don't know, uh, also known <coughs> as Marletta Farms, leaked wastewater into a tributary of Little River on June, poisoning redbreast fish, bluegills, and several species of catfish, according to an EPD fish kill report. The wastewater had been accepted by the farm as a fertilizer or soil amendment, EPD said. So uh, that, that sucks. It sucks just all the way around. Um, I don't know if like that was somehow an accident or if they were doing it and thought they could get away with it. I, I don't know. There's M M McAvoy Farms and the extent of the fish kill all the way down here. All right. There's some of them right there. Okay, moving on. Okay, now we are in Lyman, South Carolina. Uh, SCDNR investigates fish kill on Middle Tiger River. At first glance, the area behind Middle Tiger Library appears calm and full of wildlife. However, over the weekend, local residents discovered something alarming along the edge of the water. According to the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, a concerned citizen reached out to their agency on Saturday after they found dozens of dead fish along the Middle Tiger River. Quote, we sent a couple of freshwater fisheries section staff out there to take a look to see if uh, there really was a kill, and sure enough, there was, said George Lucas, SEDNR. Quote, they're not unusual during summertime uh, to have have a fish kill like this happen on a stream like the middle tiger is a little more unusual, said Lucas. According to DNR, multiple species of fish are being affected. Uh, quote, among the species that our biologists saw, there was crappie and there were some largemouth bass. I'm sure 
there were some other small species, ones like ones we like to call prey fish, like those in the minnow families as well, said Lucas. Here's a picture. Let's look at a couple pictures. All right, and that's all that I have for that one. <clears throat> Here's another one if you want to like look at this story. I'll put this the link for this down in the uh, description box. Okay, now we're in New Jersey. Dead fish create a big stink as they rot in the waters off this Jersey, Jersey Shore community. Uh, this is Harvey Cedars. Um, and you, I should have looked up all the, whatever, I'll do it next time. A large community. Th this is the only uh, indication of how, how many fish were killed. They just say a large community of dead fish are rotting in a cove near a residential neighbor neighborhood on Long Beach Island. Officials discovered the peanut bunker fish on Wednesday in Kinsey Cove in Harvey Cedars after residents complained of a smell, Pol uh, police chief Robert Burniford said. Quote, this is the first year that I've experienced this, so it's definitely different, he said. The cause of the incidents is unknown, the chief said. Okay, so there you have it. So I have them here on my tracker. <clears throat> um, I wish there was like a way I could just have like a um, uniform number under the death toll column, but you can't do it. Sometimes it comes in the form of pounds. Sometimes it's just said in the dozens or thousands or uncountable, so whatever, but at least we, we know that this is happening. So, and I'm, I apologize, you know, I, I'm just starting out. I wish I had a more comprehensive list of all these things. Maybe we, we could see some patterns or something like that. Uh, it does seem like there's a lot, a lot of fish and whales dying this month uh, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, separate incidents this month. And they range from, let's see, India, Australia, Indiana, South Carolina, New Jersey, Georgia. So it's not like it's all just in one area. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But I'm glad that I found this story and was able to put it on the on the chart. Uh, the, lar the largest in Australia history in 2020. So that's going to be it for this one. Um, thank you everybody for sending me this information for everyone that did. Um, I got it from a few different sources. Sorry, I would have shared that. I, I wasn't thinking. This, it's one of those days. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. All right, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share this with anyone that might find this interesting, and I'll talk to you guys later.